and today I'm here with my pre-Christmas book haul. So I've just got six books to show you and these are books I bought in the past month and this is just a little bonus book haul before I do my usual. Christmas book haul will be in January at some point. Um, so these books I'm not really going to explain what they're about because majority of them I will be doing book reviews on but I will leave links down to their Goodreads pages below so if you want to know more about them you can check them out. So the first book that I've got to show you is the only book that I've read out of this pile and that is Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. If you follow me on Goodreads you'll know that I recently just finished this and I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars because I was going to give it a 3 stars but then um, reading on Goodreads on the page looking in the comments section where people asked, asked questions there was a lot of people asking if this was ghost written there was speculation about it a lot of people there was buzz about it being ghost written and because I think they'd been found out the Goodreads page changed so instead of on the Goodreads page it just saying Zoe Sug it now says Zoe Sug and Siobhan I can't remember her last name but she's a popular author she's had like a number one bestseller in that um so that disappointed me and if you didn't know Zoe Sugg is aka Zoella on YouTube. So it disappointed me to know that she actually didn't write this book and the book wasn't even that good. I would have enjoyed it more if I was at 13 but it, I'm not going to do a review on it, there's no point. It wasn't that great. If you want to know more you can ask me and I'll give you an honest thoughts on it but I'm telling you now I won't waste your money because it's £13 and I'd wait till it comes out in paperback or get it on your Kindle for about 2 quid because it wasn't that great and don't listen to the hype okay so the next book that I've got and it's one that I'm currently reading is probably one of the first books I'm going to do a review on is The Love Detective by Alexandra Potter um, I've only ever read one book by her and that was Don't You Forget About Me and that was a couple of years ago and I absolutely loved it um, I do own two others of her books and one of them was Me and Mr Darcy I tried to get into that, I think I got to page 100 and I just didn't enjoy it. Um, I'm probably going to try and finish it at some point. Um, but I found I tend to enjoy her newer works better than her older works. Um, but anyway, I'm on page 133 of this. I'm enjoying it so far. So hopefully there will be a review up on this of this week because it's getting near to Christmas. And I'm taking this with me to my aunt's because we're having Christmas dinner around hers. And I'm giving this to her because she wanted to give this book a try. So, yeah, hopefully you'll see a review of this soon. But, yeah, so far, so good. And I'm loving it. The next book that I've got is by one of my favourite authors ever. And that is Trust in Me by Sophie McKenzie. Uh, this is the second adult novel that Sophie McKenzie's done. If you didn't know, Sophie McKenzie normally writes children's and young adults books. And that's mainly the books I've read by her. But she has now branched out and tried to do adult books. Um, the only ever adult book she's ever done was Close My Eyes, which I think was published last year. And this is her newer one. Um, I haven't read Close My Eyes, but I do plan to pick that up after I've read this one. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about this and I'm just excited. And I can't wait to, to get into some Sophie McKenzie again because I just love her style of writing and just her work. It's amazing. And I definitely recommend you check out at least one of her books because she's just amazing okay the next book that i've got is i surprised myself by buying this because it's not, not something i usually buy and it is a history book and it is catastrophe europe goes to war 1914 by max hastings this isn't a fiction book i believe this is just um max hastings telling you the story of world war one and it's just a recount of it and the events that happened and apparently in this book you read about um events that happened that you don't see or hear about on tv like they didn't show on tv and it also includes pictures which i thought was really cool if i can show you a few which was really cool and yes i really enjoyed history at school so i can't wait to get into this and read some more historical fiction and more history books so I'm excited for this one and I've heard nothing but amazing things. These two are also doing reviews on for you when I don't know. It'll be once I've read them. Okay, the next one I'll also be doing a review on is It's Not You, It's Me by Mahari McFarlane. I think that's how you say her first name, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can correct me on that. Um, but yes, yeah, so this book is actually pretty similar to um, the Love Detective by Alexandra Potter, where they're both about women who 
you know, engage, um, are engaged to their fiancés and then find the fiancé as cheated on them with another woman and it's the events of that and what happens to them. Um, I haven't really heard much about this book. I know it only came out in November. So as to what this is about, I'm not sure. But I'm excited for it. Um, you know, a romance gone bad. And I love that. If I can find them. Um, yeah. Little comic segments, which are pretty cool. And it's in hardback. And yeah, so like I said, haven't heard too much. But I'm excited to get to it. And I'll do a review once I've finished. And the final book, which is one I'm not going to do a review on, but I'm excited for, as I've heard nothing but good things, is All Delight We Cannot See by Anthony Durr. Um, I did start reading this and I got to page 30, but then I put it down as I wasn't in the mood at the time for that for this type of book, as it is historical fiction. But I will get back to it as the 30 pages that I read were amazing and I've heard nothing but good things and I believe it's You Follow the Lives of a blind German girl and is it a German girl or is it a blind French girl I believe and a German boy and how how you follow their lives with them growing up and then eventually how they cross paths uh, but yeah I absolutely love the cover it's just stunning and yeah I've heard nothing but good things and I can't wait to get to this okay so let's see if I can hold all of these in one I'm gonna try uh, here we go Dun 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 dun! Woo! So yes, yeah, so that was my pre-Christmas book haul. I hope you like it. Uh, yes, I'll leave links down to my social media where you can follow me and add me and I'll follow you back. And we can just talk about books and stuff and just have fun. So yes, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!